Catechism Meditation, we'll look at question number 82, which reads as follows. What is the communion in glory which the members of the invisible church have with Christ? The answer is the communion in glory which the members of the invisible church have with Christ is in this life, immediately after death, and at last perfected the resurrection and day of judgment. The communion in glory. We may not think of life in this world as being a communion in glory. It seems to be more of a time of suffering and trouble. But when we come to faith in Jesus Christ, there is a glory that comes into our lives. It's the glory of the Lord. We see Him at work in our lives, transforming us, making us new more and more with each day after His image. We see that glory uh, increasing over time within our personal lives, and also as we see the church advancing in the world. The glory of the church is a wonderful thing to see. As the church becomes stronger in her faith, as the church reaches out to new communities around the world, the church's glory expands throughout the earth because the Lord himself is her glory. And so we experience that glory here in this life. The spirit of glory rests upon us. He's conforming us ever more into the image of our glorious Savior. The glory begins in this life, though hidden, Though covered in many respects, and though uh, struggling in the midst of earthly troubles, nonetheless that earthly glory uh, continues to, to grow in, in the course of our lives. When we pass from this life, our souls immediately go into the presence of the Lord. There's not a soul's sleep. There's not a period of time in which we uh, wait in death and then await some distant time when we are raised from the grave. But no, we go immediately in our souls into the presence of the Lord. And we are glorified. We are set free from sin immediately, fully, at that time. And we enjoy the company of God's heavenly city, the citizens of that heavenly Jerusalem. And so there is glory ahead for us when we pass from this life. Therefore, death is not such a thing to be feared. The sting of death has been taken away because we look to the glory that is to come to us in Christ. But that's not the end. Yes, we will be immediately in the presence of the Lord, experiencing glory, but there's more glory yet to come. And that will come on that final day when Christ returns and raises our bodies from the grave, and our bodies are glorified. And so our bodies will take part in that glory that our souls already experience. We will be reunited with our bodies, and we will enter into this earthly world, which has been transformed, and itself will be a far more glorious world than what we even know today. Glory, the glory of the Lord dwelling in His people and among His people. It transforms us and makes us glorious. What a wonderful blessing and privilege we have in knowing the Lord and having these promises at work in our lives today. We have a communion with Christ in His glory. It's reserved for the invisible church, those who are truly joined to Christ. It's only their privilege to enjoy this 